I love this movie. I love your characters Good. in it. But I want to start with, first of all, you've been in so many big movies, both of you, big franchises, but Star Wars is kind of the biggest there ever was. So when you got the nod, both of you, for this movie, was it kind of extra special? Oh, yeah. It's, it's it. And we're of the generation that, you know, first received the Star Wars, you know, franchise. That first movie, I was seven years old, six years six. old. And uh, you've heard me say this quite a number well, of times. Well, I just know that you were born in 71. Two. Two. You should never tell a lady. But you said 71. No, 72, but so like by the five. No, but by the time the film came to England, it was a good year after oh, it started. Oh, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Come on, love. <laughs> Um, anyway, there's a um, lot of squabbling goes it on. It sounds we're like, like a, I know, we're just married married kind of like just... you can tell your friends. Really, it's just kind of a you obviously know each other really well. We at this do, point. so oh, details yeah. are important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, being 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 the generation that first received it, it was it was sort of seismic. Yeah. It, you know, for me, it was the introduction to sci-fi is an idea. This big hairy guy, best mates with this this. This dope less hairy kind of, guy. Less hairy guy. He's still pretty hairy. Um, this woman with the hairdo, and she's so regal and cool. It was amazing, That's truly. Amazing. Yoda. Whoa. Yeah, there's, there's so much to it. Yeah, and the, the chemistry here seems real, and in the film it translates. Like you two, I love the characters because they're obviously bandits and they're tough, but they're kind of Achilles' heel is each mm, other, really, that's isn't so it? So lovely that you put it like that. D they're Achilles' I think heel we is completely, each other. Oh yeah. But that's a really cool. But we are. Here. Yes, just we, like any truly deeply married couple. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> just, you know, I, it's like it's cool because I also have a lot of love and just admiration for her as a person. You know, yeah. so I like it kind of translates immediately on onto the screen mm. that we you know care about each other. Mm. Yeah, which is really important. Yeah, and so you know when Han comes into the lives of Beckett and Val, they're on a mission, they can't waste time, and this kid, you know, he, he could potentially be a threat, and so Val is more, you know, sort of um, cynical about him, and Beckett just senses something, and I think that's kind of how they interact as a couple, is that Beckett is the ideas man, you okay. know, he goes on instinct, he's got great instincts, and Val is kind of the engineer that makes things happen. The doer. The and doer, so, you know, they need each other to, to sort of forge forward. And absolutely, and Val, by the way, the hair, I couldn't get up, was so fat. I love how you do that when you say yeah. the hair. Oh, because I just oh, want yeah. it. Just I wish I could grow it. I just want to touch it. Yeah. I thought it was great, I mean, like, when I was sort of trying to figure out how we were going to make the hair and they gave me full reign to do what I wanted which was fantastic it was a couple of things most important was that it was pragmatic it gave a bit of cushion under that helmet you know <laughs> yeah. and then you know we didn't try and make it look perfect at all it was much more about making it look as though it's been it's being used to, to you know just as part of how she deals with you know with with the elements and what she's doing but that whole kind of asymmetrical look I bet you it's going to get out there was oh, yeah. The, was there inspiration from your mother, though, did I read somewhere? Is oh, that yeah. true? Yeah, the 70s. Because this film has a wonderful retro vibe. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Star Wars, obviously, 77, that's when they started, and continuing on through the early 80s. And that whole kind of counterculture, you know, the spirit of whether it's the Panthers or my mum in the 70s with her beautiful afro. And I, I did want to kind of hark back to that spirit of, you know, revolution and... Because um, yeah, these people, this, this group of bandits, you know, counterculture, um, radicals, they, um, you know, that's the flavor that I wanted to you know, to sort of bring into the film. And I think it worked really well. It worked really well. You did it perfectly, guys. Thank you so much for out of time. It's Thank brilliant you. to talk to you. And yeah, congrats to you. on the film. Thank Appreciate you. It. FM 104. Dublin's hit music station.